Am I done? Okay, so which question are you attempting to answer? Why did the king need a new wife? Okay, Jasmine, tell us why the king needed a new wife. I think the king, I think, I think the king needed a new wife because he was, he was with Queen Vashti. Vashti. Vashti, and she refused to, um, she refused to come, she refused to come, um, somewhere when the, uh, when king, uh, demanded the, the, the eunuchs. <laughs> when he she when he ordered her to come, I guess to talk to. Uh, she was supposed to have come to talk to the other um, the other young lady, and she refused to come. So when she refused to come, uh, they were saying about how she did wrong. But not only against the king, but also against the novels and the people of all the, the province, province. The province. All right, so tell me where you found that answer. I found that answer in one, in verse one, what is it? Um, chapter one, you mean? Chapter one, was it verse 10? And verse 10 through... All right, so you just gave us the answer from Esther chapter 1 verses 10 through 16. Now, I'm about to give you guys a little bit of background on Esther, and it's so deep, I got to close the classroom door. So hold on a minute. Yes, you got the extra credit, but hold on. All right, here we go. So let's get it in. Oh, how do I get y'all these answers without telling too much? All right. This so don't give me the answer for the second one because I'm still searching. Like give me the answer the to your two questions, Alicia, and then I'm going to go back and fill in a bunch of background. Okay. Who is Mordecai? Son of Jair. Jair? Give me more. Uh, he had a cousin named Hadassah whom he brought up, and she had neither mother or father. He took her in. He named her Esther. And Mordecai took her in as his own. Mm -hmm. So and basically, Mordecai is Esther's what? Cousin. Cousin. Thank you. That's your points. And then what about the second question? Well, I can't find Frank. What is it? Frankincense. Yeah. But um, Mir. Mir is oil. Mm hmm. All right. So. I get half a point for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get. I get you the full credit because this is all like it's not like y'all been studying this before. All right, what so let's get into this for real, for real. So, um, oh, I got your points. You got your. Oh, oh you mean the other points? We get into that in a second. I want to give you guys a little bit of background. Um, so why do you guys think? We're studying the book of Esther in the first place out of all the stuff in the Bible. Why would I pick Esther? Because it's of, your favorite no, book. because of us, how we are. Because Esther was a little, wasn't she a little hot tail? Mm mm. Oh. She trying to say you're hot? I mean, we get tattoos and piercings. That's what somebody because I seen somewhere say something about a virgin. No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's right here. So, ooh. all right. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to answer one. Uh, well, let's see. Jasmine, before I answer it, do you know what happened to his first wife? Your second question, what happened to Vashti? That she could never again to enter the presence of the king at exer, exer. exercise. Yeah. I'm still looking for this one. All right, so let's get into it. Now that we've Hold answered. Wait, I wasn't done. <laughs> 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 okay. He, she couldn't be in the presence of the king because she didn't obey the command of of the king, Exor, Exorus, mm. uh, that the, e, 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 the e, eunuch. e, eunuchs have given to her. All right, so let's chase some of these answers. Is that right? Yes. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, first of all, 
Um, we're studying Esther because she's one of the few women that was given her own book in the Old Testament. Um, we're also studying her because she's also one of the few women ever to have a holiday. Um, so if some Christians celebrate it, but mostly Jews celebrate it, there's a holiday. It's called Purim, um, which I'll let you guys look up on your own. But basically, um, she has done a lot to make the world what it is today. She motivates a lot of women and she saved the Jews from becoming extinct or basically being totally killed off. Let me get into that a little bit. Um, so let's start out. I'm going to start at the bottom with Mary's question. Why did the king need a new wife? And it ties into Jasmine's as well, too. So we had this king. Now, let me give you all a little quick history lesson that they really didn't give you enough information about um, in the Bible. You actually have to read a couple of commentaries and history books to really get this part. So I'm going to need to get comfortable a little bit. Hold on. All right. So here's what happened for real, for real. The king was having a party. So, first of all, you got to put yourself in the mindset of a king. If I'm the king, then I'm the richest, most powerful man in the country. And I need to prove that I'm more rich and powerful and successful than everybody else. So, if you guys were reading that, you saw that it said a lot of powerful people from a lot of places had come to be a part of this celebration, right? And so he's trying to impress all these people. So here's what would happen. Sometimes you would have a king and he had a little bit of money. So he would have like a two day party. Um, everybody would get drunk. Um, not all the kings were saved. Um, so everybody would get so drunk they didn't know their names and they would dance and do all kind of wild, crazy stuff. Um, and then the next king obviously has to show, well, I have more money than him. Or my party can't be better than his. So his party was a day and a half. So mine going to be four days. And he had 400 dancing naked women. So I'm going to have 500. And it was just this big thing. So here's what happened. The king is having his party. Everybody get drunk. And then the king kind of is bragging a little bit. Um, my wife finer than all y'all's. Now she's having her own party. But back then, women didn't have rights. So, he say to the eunuchs who are his servants, hey, yo, dog, go grab my chick. Um, and <laughs> I mean, basically, go grab my chick so she can do a little dance on the pole, do a little belly dance, break a little bit down, and show all these dudes my woman the finest. And I'm the baddest king. But what did she say when he sent for his wife? No. No. Now, women didn't have what? Rights. Rights. So can you, as the queen that all the women look up to, tell your husband no in the room full of thousands of people? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Put on the slide. You oh, really can't. didn't want to do that either if it was the right king because they just weren't having it. See, that's so. where it's all messed up at because <laughs> me, I'd be like, uh-uh. You'd have been dead, beheaded, or sent away like she was, which really kind of indicates that he probably loved her a little bit because some kings would have just had her beheaded. Beheaded what? Her head, head yeah, just killed. But he was nice, so Did she they was just... they get just cutting their hair off? Yes, they're the king. In their own eyes, it was like saying, I'm God here on earth. I'm rich, I'm powerful, you will do what I say, I will have what I want. If he was Unless they she got it, then yeah, I'll definitely do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I mean, well, everybody had their own opinion of uh, how history played out and who should or shouldn't have done what. But the fact of the matter was, at that time, we were considered objects or possessions 
Um, and not that all women were just treated like garbage or anything. There were men that really cared for and loved their wives. Um, there were men who were devoted to only one woman. But a lot of the kings um, had more than one wife. Actually, some of them had hundreds of wives. And there were a lot of reasons. Some of them wanted to have a lot of boys so that if they died, um, they had somebody to have a legacy to take over. So let's say the first wife had a little boy and he wasn't like manly or um, he didn't have what characteristics the king wanted in a son. I want a son who's good at carpentry or riding horses or whatever it is. Um, so then I need to go marry me another woman real quick, have some more boys. Or I just want to prove that I can have 40 sons. Um, Cause I'm a real man. I make more boys than girls. Unlike that other king in the other county, he got all girls. Um, so yeah, part of it was just a macho or a male thing. But and then some of the men or kings like Solomon just like women, a lot of them. So basically, every woman they saw that they thought was fine or they wanted to be with, they were just with. Um, all right, so. Let's go a little bit further into Esther. But that kind of gives you guys some background a little bit um, before we go deeper. So now everybody, you guys have a clear understanding of exactly what happened to Vashti and why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, so I could write this down. What is it? What is this? Frankenstein? We're not there yet. No, I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. You're right. You're not there yet. Alright, here we go. Um, hold on one second. Okay. So everybody has why the king needed a wife and what happened to the old wife. So those two you can kind of check off or make sure you have answers next to. Oh, you want right. to write the answer um, to it? Yeah. Oh, because I thought we were just doing what you gave us. I mean, you can know the rest. Oh. Um, it's good to know, but... Are you collecting these and jot down to I'm just coming around to jot down a couple of notes, but you guys will get to keep them. All right, so moving on, um, let me mark them on my own paper. You know why the king had a wife and what happened to her. Okay, so um, Mordecai. Um, so what do we know about Esther? She lived with who? Oh, wait a minute. I just went past that. She lived, wait. No, 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 no. So, uh, We're on the question, who did Esther live with and why? We can't find out either. No, Alicia had it. I just... Yeah, I had it. Hold she on. Lived with. Yeah. That's not on there. Alright, so Esther lived with Esther. You forgot what you read us? Mm hmm. Right, Alicia, what I read, John? Oh, right. she was uh, staying with, um, what's his name? My. Mordecai. Yeah, Mordecai. Okay, so what was their relationship again? They was cousins. Okay, because she was what? Because she was... Wait a minute. Yes, this is on the final, by the way. Okay, let me jump in. Yeah, because <laughs> I can't find it. Cause I'm... Okay, so Esther was an orphan. Yeah. Um, both her parents were deceased, so she was raised by who? Mordecai. Mordecai. And I'm bringing this up for a And her very... father's name was Alibi, Albi, Alibi, something like that. Let me see. Which question is it on? That's what it say. Wait a minute, where it go? Because I honestly don't remember her Here dad's name. Here it go. Who went turn for Oh, Abigail? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's jump in. Yeah, it says Mordecai had adopted the daughter of his uncle 
what's the name? Abigail. Yeah, Abigail, which is her daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's get it in. Because I know we got other stuff to cover today. Lord, help me with my daughters. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right, so Esther is this nice, sweet virgin girl, and she's happy. Life is going well. I'm living with my cousin Mordecai. They have a couple of family businesses, so they're not like filthy rich, but they making it. They doing all right, living together, whatever, whatever. And then the queen is sent away. So if you guys kept reading, the Bible goes on to tell us, so everything cool, but then one day the king like, hold up, uh, brother need a new wife. Cause I have needs, number one. And number two, I'm the king, so I should have a what? Wife. More specifically, starts with a Q. Queen. Queen. King should have a queen. So, how did they search for a queen? I heard you guys talking about it. What did they do? His advisors went out and did what? They went to, uh, oh. where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? <laughs> Wait. I just read The virgins was assembled a second time. Mordecai was sitting at the king's um. gate, but Esther had kept the secret from the Oh, mm -hmm. let us search be made for a beautiful for a for a beautiful young virgin, virgin for the king. king. Yeah. All right. Let, let the king me. appoint. Go ahead. I'm sick of you trying to take my <laughs> <laughs> we always go through this. I'm tired of being in competition search. with her. <laughs> they searched for him. Because it says, then the king's personal attendance proposed. All right, here we go. Good job, you guys. So. Extra credit for that. <laughs> you know what? I'm sick of you. I don't get extra credit often. <laughs> All right. So, the king is tired of being... Lonely. I mean, he had something called concubines, but we'll get into that later. On. Yeah, I just saw that. It was right um, here. <laughs> but he wanted, which goes to show, like, I know this off track a little bit, but a lot of people think, like, I'm going to be cute. I'm going to wear this bikini. He going to think I'm cute because my butt big or my waist small. But if you don't have substance, um, that can get really tiring. And even the king who had hundreds of women sitting in a room waiting to take his turn to sleep with which one for that particular day, he still wanted a queen. Um, so basically, they was like O's to him. Yeah. All right. So um, here we go. Am I going to ever answer my first question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I really do want her to answer that because I can't I even know what the I word am. is and I don't know I what am. it is. All right. Here we go. So let's go a little bit further. So um, we're going to answer <clears throat> Alicia's second question now where it says, what is frankincense and myrrh? All right, so here's where y'all really going to love the king a little bit more. So frankincense and myrrh was like a combination of um, oils and berries type stuff. And um, you answer her question. She already said it's oils, but oh. she doesn't know what they're used for. So I'm about to really yeah, make right here, that. Yeah, because right here, see right here, before you just start cooking, because it says before a girl turns it to go in King's Erexus, she had to complete 12 months of beauty treatments, prescribing for the women six months with oil of, what's the word? Myrrh. Myrrh. Myrrh and six, and six with perfumes and cosmetics. That's what I wanted. Here we go. Let's talk for <laughs> real, for real. So, you know how. Extra credit. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, seriously. You know how you go like, well, not y'all personally, but you know how like people meet somebody and then a week later they sleeping together or that same night y'all met at the club and then it's like, oh, you cute. You cute too. Dad, you sexy. Well, I could get a room across the street that at so the disgusting. Motel 8 or whatever people do. Um, That's nasty. I mean, it just it happens, happens but right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, so, um, so here's the difference. Back then, even though men was well, not men in general necessarily. Well, more men was trifling because they could get away with it. Um, get away with it now. But I'm just back. We're talking about back then, though. Um, even though they did nasty things, they generally didn't just meet a girl at the club and then get busy. So here's where we read, like Alicia told us, women had to do a year of getting prepared to give the king some. 
That's a long time. Yeah. Years. So, mm-hmm. so you know how, like, like I said, sometimes people meet in the club and then you don't know. She could have just left getting busy with somebody else and came to the club. And then an hour later, she getting busy with you. You don't know where that stuff been. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> I'm, y'all so silly. Maybe I should have said that differently. I mean, but you you don't know where I mean, that stuff right. been. Right. Jesus yeah. yeah, it is. That's why we have the stuff like uncurable gonorrhea that uh we were discussing oh yesterday yeah because this ain't right here in the evening she was going there that my fiance know and i guess he used to mess around with her a long time ago but now she got herpes and she literally has sex with with guys and don't tell them that she has herpes mm-hmm. and that's nasty like i'm protecting everything okay i have a question she but is revenge ahead. she just bitter it happens <laughs> That's um, she she gonna no. hold her butt. She oh. gonna get her butt whooped one day. That's what's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> you stacked up. Did he finally get her? Too? Yeah, I went over there because it was taking so long. Oh, oh, I was oh, oh, go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just about to call him. Too. Is that enough? <laughs> he printed out one copy, so I'm gonna print out. Is is for is that enough money? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, but moving on, they had to wait a year to sleep with the king. Because they had to go through a year of nothing but baths. Um, I'm going to say this as nicely as I can. He wanted it to be like a pimp. No, oh no, not no, like that. Pimp, he but just wanted but, to feel, yeah. feel like it's new. new. Right. Oh, well, no, they were virgins anyway. They checked. You wasn't going to be like sleeping around. Well, the king did didn't want check? you stuff. Yeah, how did they um, check? They gave you pep smears? Pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, they checked. He wasn't going to use you stuff. Okay, so what so, happens but, when, when, they, when they are ready to have kids by the king or whatever king? They just they, they just don't have sex with no more? I'm getting to that. Okay. okay look, though, mm-hmm. So look, here's where <clears throat> stuff got crazy. So you didn't get a choice. Let me make that clear because I don't know if I did earlier. You didn't get a choice if you were one of the virgins that was in the competition to become queen or not. Esther didn't want to. She was happy with her life. The van was going around looking at women saying, ooh, you cute. Get in the van. We'll tell your family later. Hmm? Kidnapped her. I mean, they, it was the king. Trapping. Yeah, but right here. Did, did that's not, trapping. It is. <laughs> did, didn't I say they felt like I'm the king, I'm God on earth? So, well, the king actually wasn't totally involved. It was his men who felt he the king, he gonna have what he deserved. And so if you was cute and actually more than cute, you had to be like fine because the king only want the best. I'm the king, baby. I want the best. It says right here that she had to win him over in his approval. I'm not there yet. Come back. (laughs) So, but yeah. So the king goes around. The king's men... Come back, y'all. The king's men goes around, captures like the couple of hundred finest honeys in the land. All right. So after he gets them, he don't just say, ooh, I got 200 fine new women. I'm about to hit one a night. He don't touch them for a year. So every night they go with the eunuchs who were the king's assistants. And these eunuchs, um, every night the women had to bathe. And they had to bathe in this frankincense and myrrh. Um, so frankincense is... So, yeah, the frankincense and myrrh, they were like perfumes and oils. And let me say this as nicely as I can. Y'all already know the king was in love with women and a lot of them, right? Mm-hmm. But the king, let's say he had a foot fetish or something like that. We'll go with that. This is why you had to soak for a year. Because some of these girls that they captured had jobs. And back then, remember, they didn't have closed in shoes like us. Shoes was basically a hard piece of rock or leather tied on your feet with a string from a cow hide or something. So people used to have buckets of water at their front door. And whenever you walked in somebody's house, you washed your feet because people often traveled by horseback or walking through dusty deserts. Now, if I'm the king, and I never had to work like that or do manual labor or anything like that, then my woman, I want her really soft and feminine. What if I want to suck feet, like I said? I'm just making an example. So for a year before the king ever came near you, you soaked daily. Because if I want to lick your toes, 
they shouldn't still have dirt from the farm when you used to be the cowgirl or the horseback rider. Um, so if I want to lick toes, they've been soaked for a year first. If I want to lick something up higher, you've been soaking it every day for a year in these oils. What if he had an underarm fetish? He wanted to suck under. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> but I'm just saying, whatever the king wanted to touch or suck or feel, it needed to smell like berries. So even if you sweat, stop laughing, Ashley. I'm sorry. <laughs> so even if you sweat, like say you were sweating out of your face or It'll your arm. Like yes, something. because you've been soaking for a year, if your arms sweat or your fingertips sweat, it's going to smell like berries because every day that's all you did was beauty treatments. Y'all get it now? Yeah. So, yes. so, my thing is, if you if he, if he wants you to soak in his oils and stuff for a whole year, so oils and berries, how mm -hmm. is it that? Perfumes, so what treatments, they soak, you what got they makeup. for a whole year? Nothing. So he had just, money. He's written. You sat around. So you sat in the in the in the whatever he was living. In. Not the, yeah. You had you couldn't go back home because this is the king's territory. So you couldn't like see the lay of the land and how the king's house is set up and know all the secrets and then go back to your daily life. After you were captured, you were something called a concubine, which is basically a spare person to sleep with for the rest of your life. Yeah, you. That was your destiny. So you didn't have to go out on to the his land to do anything. No. Oh, okay. I would have rather preferred that life than anything. No, else. you didn't have a, your life was how may I serve you, King? And if he didn't need you for the day, you just sat around looking pretty, getting beauty treatment. That was your life. That's where you get fat in it. No, you girls, you cr the king would kill you. You can't be fat. I'm the king. I want perfection. What did they feed him? You sat around, you exercised, or their version of it, but you just kept yourself looking pretty. Beauty treatments, eating berries and whatever else. What did they eat? Um, probably mostly like berries and fruits. I mean, you had some of the finest wines or steaks or whatever, but it was limited to, if you sweat, we want you to smell good. Um, so some stuff you might not have eaten as much because it might offend the king if you had to fart. Um, what? Everybody farts. That's I up. say it might offend. Oh. Um, but yeah, for the basically your purpose in life, if you was one of those captured women, you e they had a competition. You're either going to be a concubine or you're going to be the queen. All right. So I think you guys got a picture of that part pretty clearly now. So who won the competition? Obviously. Esther. 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 So Esther became the new queen. All right, so I went through all that to get to this main part so we can be doing. Um, you can't be done. I need to do my other question. I know, I know. All right, so let me make sure. And I hope I got the answer why I'm so thirsty. All right, give me, we're going to do Jasmine's, and then I want to go back and answer that final question about Mordecai. That was Mary's, and then we'll be done. All right, so I already gave you guys part of the answer. A eunuch is one of the king's helpers. But there's something else you guys need to know about the unit that's very important for the final. So, Jasmine, let's see if you figured out what it is. Oh, I don't know that. Just tell us what you got. All I have is the unit is the people that serve the king. Mm -hmm. that's and true. I wrote down their names. Oh, okay. Then let me give you what y'all missed. Yes, there were several eunuchs. There was one head eunuch. And that was the one that really really liked esther she the bible says that she found favor with him and so he told her secrets here's how you gonna become queen over everybody else because here's what the king likes so he kind of hooked her up but that was god's plan um what so she found favor with the head eunuch but all right i need everybody looking at me for one second because this is what you want to know eunuchs um were men who were not allowed to have a penis they weren't allowed to have a penis. Correct. So they chopped their penises off? Yes. Oh my God. Mm hmm. Now, extra credit, but in, and I know I rarely give extra credit. I might pick a day or two every couple of weeks, but today I'm on the road because I want y'all to get this. <sighs> Why would a man have to have his penis chopped off to do a job? Why, why, why would you guess that that was a requirement? So they won't be able to have sex with somebody. Uh-huh. So you can't have sex with The queen. Yeah. So. So can we all feel like the extra credit? 
I mean, we you all did. Did you write down my blah, other blah, extra credit? Blah, blah. Yes, I have it right here. <laughs> it was supposed to be um, two, but now this makes it three. What? <laughs> We're on a road today, honey. Um, yes, we need I our extra credit. We trying to go. <laughs> <laughs> And we answer some more extra questions. We might be able to leave uh, these too early. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even got to do my business presentation. Oh, Monday. Yeah. Ain't no meeting so, people here. <laughs> here we go. Um, so a eunuch, yes, he had to have his thing removed. But it was actually a very honorable role to have for a couple of reasons. Number one, back then, they didn't have the technology we have or the medicine skills. Um, or supplies. So guess what? If you even live to be a eunuch, it was an honor because a lot of people bled to death after their thing was cut off. I would think so. Yeah. So if you were one of the people who miraculously so lived I just wonder, through it, when you cut off your your penis, like you had a little hole. hole there. Yeah. And like, so how do we do? Do it. Turn to a scab. Or, not, not I have no idea. Honestly, <laughs> I don't. all I know I'm is gonna, when I read ahead. about the history of it, it talked about how it was kind of an honor because so many people died from the procedure. I don't so know, how because did they leave they leave after that? After that? Mm -hmm. I guess out the little hole. It will burn. It'll eventually have just skin and hair. Yeah, yeah until but, the, yeah. Uh, people Whoa. died. It burned or the pain was so unbearable or the bleeding was so unbearable. A lot of people died. Because it's so, like you can't put no type of gauze well, or no type right. of dressing on it to even stop the, to even, you know, oh yeah. my God. And we're talking about back then. I mean, that would be horrible now. But I'm going to say that back then. when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so the first reason it was honorable was because you lived through it. But the second reason it was honorable is because the king had to trust you so you almost had to be recommended to become a eunuch like you didn't go to the king which would be suspicious anyway you didn't go to him and say hey king i know you need some men to stay around that house for the gorgeous women you got i'm up for the job um no people would nominate people and say things like i know this guy he very trustworthy he always honest he does this or he does that or whatever i think he'd make a great eunuch and then even though you probably wanted your stuff. So they didn't the, have a choice if they wanted to be a eunuch. Not if the king really wanted you, no. Everybody, really? apparently, don't nobody have a choice to do anything but the king. <laughs> the king has the whole power of, of everyone and their ability to do Unless anything. like a whole country got together and kind of felt like this person crazy or they power. You know how sometimes they would get together and veto a king. It was rare, though. Um... So yeah, but being a eunuch was an honor for several reasons. One, you were chosen, which meant they felt you could be trusted. Two, you lived through it. Um, but the eunuchs had several roles. One, they worked for the king, but they did two other things that was just as important. They protected the women, because could you imagine if any, not every person is saying, so what if somebody knew it's that house down the street and it's the 200 finest women in Ohio that live in that house? You're going to have at least one crazy person like I'm breaking in there to get some of that. So you had to have, but I'm just saying, if somebody knew if you want to sleep with the 200 finest women in Cleveland, they in that building right there. All you got to do is find a way to break in and get to them. Um, so you had to have men there so nobody would be tempted enough to try to break in this house to get to these women first of all um so they protected the women but then second of all some of these women got pregnant so basically these concubines was like having a house full of all your baby mamas living together picture that I can't. right <laughs> <laughs> so you had to have eunuchs because it's a house with 18 baby mamas all in the rooms next door to each other well, it's about 200 women in there, but 18 of them actually had kids, and they all by the king. So all the women want their son to be the next uh, king. Yeah. So, ha-ha. So, 
Esther won the crazy competition madness. And then let's answer the last question. What did Mordecai mean by such a time as this? Where is that at? Right. Here? It was on the paper, but I'm talking about in the book. Where is it on the paper? Uh, question oh. six. six. During the time Mordecai was saying to King Aaron, It's definitely in there. I don't think it's in parentheses. Yeah. It was. That's why I'm being thirsty looking for it. Oh, here you go. I found it. Oh, my God. Oh, um, right. what did it say? For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from an other place, but you and your father's family will perish, and who knows but that you have come to where your position for such a time as this. All right. Let's get this. Can I get my extra credit, please? I burned my eyeballs for this. Yeah, she I, I gave it what to did you. he mean? Okay, then Esther sent by his to reply to Mordecai, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa, 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 and uh, fast. Um, like let, let me jump in. Oh, um, but thank you. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So here's what happened as Alicia read to us. Um, me, do not eat Esther, or drink me for three days. Mm, Esther became queen. Everything was going well. Her and the king in love. Um. 
like he really really was madly in love with her so um there was a guy named Haman that didn't like Mordecai and so he hated Mordecai so much that he just decided he hated all Jews now when Esther became queen um Mordecai told her don't tell the king you're a Jew I just get a suspicion or a feeling that that's something you're supposed to keep to yourself for some reason I don't think you're supposed to tell him you a Jew yet so she doesn't so time goes on they married and in love and then bam Haman the king's main assistant tricks him into signing this paperwork that say they gonna kill all the Jews that live in that region so um, Mordecai say well remember when I told you not to tell you was a Jew <laughs> um, I think this is about that time because the king in love with you and Haman about to kill all our people so you might want to go to the king and say please don't kill all my people why would you want to kill me I'm your wife and, and who what's her name Esther was a, was a Jew yes She's Mordecai's niece, remember? Cousin. But yeah, those oh, are cousins. Oh, okay, okay. So Mordecai is the Jew. It's his cousin. <laughs> I keep, you know, it's a habit. Cause okay, so to sum all of it up for number six, what are we doing? Um, I'm giving you the explanation as we break it down. So, um, <clears throat> all her people are about to die. Mordecai goes to her and says, were you not created for such a time as this? In other words, if you've been looking for your purpose in life, here it is. God put you where you are to save me, you, and every Jew that's living. This is your time. Were you not created for such a time as this? Got it. Okay, now here. Yeah. You was brought here because now the king about to try to kill all of us. But he ain't going to try to kill all of us because you his wife. You ain't going to try to kill you. So you stay with us, basically. So um, she went on a fast. You know, I need to do go Bible study. Right. It's like when people be like, oh, that guy stuff, that boy. It is so interesting. It's, it's, it really is. is. As you really say that thing about it, it really is. is. Oh, it is. I know. And then with her goofy jokes, she don't make it no better. <laughs> Talk about what they some fools and all this. Like, what? <laughs> I'm just saying. It really is. It really is. No, it I mean, really is. Yeah. Yes, if you is. look at it, they are. Mm -hmm. They sit there, they're like, oh, I'm going to open my things to him. See, little old. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so. A lot. This is why Esther is so important to women because she challenges us. Some of us won't turn off the TV long enough to walk in our purpose. This woman risked her life to walk in her purpose because I got to go back again. Remember when I told you in the beginning when we first started, women had no rights. So did you know back then you couldn't just go say, oh, hey, I'm the queen. What's up, husband? Open the door. You would get beheaded. You had to have an appointment to go see the king, even if he was his wife. Mm. So if you guys get So wait a minute. So you're telling me we living together and I just want to see you just to have your time. I got to make an appointment with you? Yes. If you because guys... want you, baby. got to make an appointment to have sex. Baby. Right. I mean, he could come to your room or y'all room. It was like this. You had the king's private place where you didn't have permission to go and then y'all had y'all shared space. Um, well, here's the other thing. Back then, they thought women were releasing bad spirits because we had issues when we were on our menstrual. Um, so, when women, excuse me, were on their menstrual, she had to go to her own room away. You were sent away. It was called your unclean period. Why is we into this, Lord? This is stuff apparently he wants <laughs> y'all to look up later. Right, he put in the book. I mean, yeah, I wasn't planning on covering this, but apparently God want me to share it. So they had something called unclean periods. And it was a time where you may go away for a week or however long your period was. The king couldn't be near you because if he touched you, he was considered an unclean person because he touched a bleeding woman. So when he had sex mm -hmm. with other people? That's the purpose of the concubines. Hmm. I guess so. I'm oh, the yeah. king. I'm not waiting two weeks 
for you to stop bleeding and for all your bad spirits to go away before I get some again. I'm well, the king. Well, feelings wouldn't hurt. Um, my feathers will be torn. But you had to deal with it because a concubine, is it that where he have multiple wives and they all stay in the same... The big pop, area. Yeah, yeah, the same also, big area. Yeah, more than just one wife. Yeah. But it's just that... But it's just Esther... They just, didn't always marry all the concubines. Like you would have a few they would marry and make an official. Yeah, but she was the main wife. chick and the she concubines was the, was the side chick. Yeah. And sometimes they might like the concubines enough and marry them. Sometimes they didn't. Like uh, Solomon, the king who had a thousand women, um, I think 700 was wives and three was concubines. So he didn't even marry them all. Um, 700 good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was still several hundred he didn't. Um, I don't think men would know what to do if that right. was still going on. They would think they just. This, I know. They would just think yeah. they just. So, but yeah, so wrapping this up, Esther, um, if you guys read ahead, risk being beheaded because after her talk with Mordecai, she went on a three day fast and said, I'm not eating or drinking because I'm already about to risk my life. And after these three days of nothing but prayer, no eating or drinking, just no, praying. Esther. Hadassah was Jewish. Mm -hmm. Hadassah. Remember when it said Mordecai had a cousin named Hadassah that he took in as an orphan? Um, and she was an orphan. Yeah. yeah. Um, Can you spell that? Because I don't know. H A D. Well, it's on. Um, it's on 489. Uh, I'm glad we had this on our test. That's because you in the five week, the eight week get this. Never mind, I found it. Okay. I should make that one of the spelling words. No, you should. Yeah, here it go. Yeah. 49 verse. I mean, chapter 7, verse 7. All right, so, but, um, she risked her life. And everybody was holding their breath because they were in the middle of an important <laughs> business meeting, bless you. And then Esther come walking in. So all the advisors held their breath because the king had this thing called a scepter. And if he lifted um, or put it down, that determined if a person lived or died. So he lifted that let them know, let her come past, don't chop off her head. Um, Why are you your breath? Because they didn't know what he was going to do with the scepter, whether he was going to say cut her head off because she just popped up in here without an appointment. Hmm. Um, yeah, it wasn't like today where you'd be like, hey, baby, um, you want lunch? Let's go eat or give me some lunch money. No, you made an appointment. You asked the main unit, can you go ask my husband? Can I come see him today? And then he came back with an answer. Hmm. Um. So she risked her life and she told the king and um, he couldn't change the law because he had already signed this paperwork for Haman saying that all the Jews could be killed. So what he had to do was sign another paper for Esther saying that even though the law was in place, he was allowing the Jews to fight for them their own lives and try to save their people. Um, but guess what he did to the guy for tricking him into signing the paper? He cut his head off. Not only that, yes, cut that's correct. Oh. He cut the guy's head off, his wife's head off, his all family. his kids' heads off, they friends' oh, heads yeah. off. Anybody, oh. anybody who knew them was cool with them, liked them. They was all dead. Yeah. Yeah, they all were killed. And that wasn't a sin. Well, here's the thing. You had to think strategically because that's just like if you, well, I don't want to use us personally, but that's like if somebody got into it with somebody else and that person had a best friend and you just killed them and y'all all gangsters. You best believe that person's best friend coming back for you. Right. So that's what the Kings just took precaution. We going to kill you, your cousin, your cousin's cousin, so your mama, your uncle, your daddy, your brother. Yes. Mm. Partially and partially just to punish them for messing with his wife. He loved Esther. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Um, she broke all the rules. Yeah, but the but the thing was, she wasn't just breaking rules just because yeah, I'm bad. I could do that. Don't tell me what to wear. It was a, I'm doing this in my role as a woman of God. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna fast. 
I'm going to save these people that I know God wants to live. So all of it, everything she did was to be in purpose and to serve God. And that's our role model as that's why you love her. Lover. Love her. <sighs> Teach it every class. Can't get enough of it. Read it at home on my own. Oh, 11.45. Okay, you so. Spent an hour. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it is supposed to be, what, uh, 30 minutes? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, before I cut and move to something else, other comments, questions, concerned about Esther because it's on the final. Did you keep saying final? Who's taking this final? It's making Mary. me nervous. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you give me my, my points for my two questions and my extra credit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you give me my extra credit for? Yes, yes. Okay. Any other questions besides the extra credit? No. Everybody no. pretty much understand and respect Esther as much as Dr. I, I love Esther. Esther. Yes, we so. love Esther. <laughs> I'm going to name my daughter Esther. Esther. Right. Now I see why people got their daughter named Esther. Esther. 